Hello everyone, welcome back again. So in the continuation of our vocabulary series, today is the day 23 and you know very well vocab is a way to improve communication. So let's see what are the words for the day 23 with us. So they are very important and quite interesting words for the day 23. So the very first word is, okay, let me just spell out for you. So the word is M-O-N-A-S-T-E-R-Y and the pronunciation is monastery. Right. So the meaning of the word monastery is a building or buildings occupied by a community of monks living under religious walls. Right. So it's a, like a, a holy place or a, it's like a place where a monks live. Monks spend their whole life uh, together as well as do religious activities. So that particular place or a building is called as monastery. Right. So the, uh, let understand with the help of example. He has cloistered himself in a monastery for more than 30 years. There is a person who had cloistered himself, who had uh, make himself available and lived in a particular place that is known as monastery for more than past 30 years, right? Moving to the second word and the spelling for the second word is N-A-I-V-E and the pronunciation is name. Right. It's a very uh, interesting as well as important word for uh, that we can use for in our day to day life. Right. So the meaning of name is uh, showing a lack of experience, wisdom or a judgment. Means a person is very much noble. Right. A person is having uh, less experience in some particular field. The person is quite new. Right. So that we can call that person a naive person. Right. Means you can say inexperienced person on a particular Thing. Let's understand with the help of the example. So uh, it was a little naive of you to think that they would listen to your suggestions, right? So means to say that uh, that if you are a very um, inexperienced person and you are not very much knowledgeable in that particular field, right? So somebody who is very much experienced as well as there are some uh, goal oriented factors are going on. So that person might not listen to uh, you. It's not like for every time, but it could be, right? So the meaning of name means you are very, uh, you uh, definitely you are talented, but at that field you are having little experience, right? A person who is not very much well versed in their particular field due to having lack of experience. So, so this is the meaning of name. So these are the words for the day 23. I hope uh, you have learned something very well today. So that's all for today. Um, we are going to continue this vocab series for the rest of the 365 days. So please be stay tuned. Thank you so much for listening.